Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, this is the Porsche 911 Turbo build. Uh, in the last episode, we rebuilt this engine, which I had to rebuild again because I forgot to save the game. Uh, typical me. Um, I just want to say as well, we have got channel memberships now, so if you guys do want to help support the channel, then go click on that join button. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to fit this engine in, and then we're going to rebuild the rest of the car today. Uh, that's not the right button. It's that one. Um, right, let's take this. We also need this. And we also need this. We go, engine is in. And all equipment used. There we go. Um, I think we also need to put one more part in here. The performance intercooler. Um, I don't get what that is though. Hang on, did I forget the clips again? Uh, clip. There we go. Right, we also need a B6 oil filter. I already bought one. Hmm, interesting. Ah, did I not take the old exhaust section out? I left one of them in. <laughs> so we need rear exhaust section for the 964. I don't know which one it wants, whether it wants RS or normal. I think RS might be the um, newer 911. But that rear section there, all of it in chrome, looks amazing. That is stunning, those exhausts. Right, so we need a front sway bar. Two of them each. Uh, we also need rubber bushings. I'll probably get... Twenty and ten of these. There we go. Steering rack has been repaired as well. Uh, rubber bushings. The rubber bushings, like I say every episode, are an absolute nightmare to fit. Like, absolute nightmare. Uh, knuckle B. Bushings. There we 
There we go. That's in. Uh, we don't have the front end links. Right, so we also need some ventilated brake discs. Uh, I might want to get everything. I presume the rears will be normal brakes as well. Uh, okay, so we need to sort the rims out later. Uh, so we need sway bar front end link B. And then we also need double wishbone shock absorbers. I'm guessing this car has fronts and rears. There we go. Ah, I made the rears first. go take that uh tie rods Ventilated brake discs. I still don't understand why though front brake discs are ventilated and the rears aren't normally. It's really weird. Not normal. Or it doesn't make sense in my head, let's put it that way. Um Uh, shock absorbers. Uh, we need the fuel tank next. There we go. Uh, I want to put in a custom gearbox for this car. B6C. Oh, nice and shiny. Uh, 
Okay, I think... Is that everything done there? Yeah. Let's go on to the rear. Oh, the rear of this car looks so shiny. All the parts are like performance parts. There's so many performance parts for this car, surprisingly. I wasn't actually expecting many performance parts for this one. But there's definitely more performance parts on this than there is any other car. go suspension arms in nearly in now there we go what wheel hub bearings have i been putting in Okay, these are all a hundred percent. Okay, so we need wheel hubcaps and wheel bearings. And that is the brakes sorted. Oh no, the calipers as well. Can't forget about them. There we go. Okay, so we need to work out uh, tyre sizes in a minute. Uh, but what we need to do is go into here, get ourselves our starter motor. I don't know which one it will be. Uh, I think we're good to go. Um, one thing I find weird is the oil fill caps over here. It's such a weird place to put it. There we go. Um, right, next is our interior. Okay, they're all 100%, so that's good. Uh, body panels next. Uh, let's take a look see how good the body panels for this car are. Uh, it looks like they're all 100%.
Right, so I have a plan for the design of this car. Um, and I'm thinking doing... Making it look really crazy. Like, not normal at all. Um... Which rims do we want? Oh, I want to put Carrera rims on it, but it won't suit. Joe, you know we're going to put Rim Classic C on there. Six, sorry. Um, I need to take a look, see how big the tyres are. Uh, they are... Two six five thirty five eighteen. Two six five forty eighteen. Two three five forty eighteen. So 26535, we're going to make it at 30535, and then we're also going to buy, the other ones are 23540, so we're going to be buy 25540, um, and then we're going to buy our rims. Hang on, we're painting the rims though. I'm gonna go really crazy with them. I'm gonna go bright red. Don't don't ask why. <laughs> so you have matte red. Matt wrong. They didn't put the E in it. I have realised this is going to look like a nightmare, but I don't care. We are trying stuff out. how bad that looks <laughs> oh well we're going with it actually that's not too bad the lines on it make it look better okay so we're doing the front tires first Here we go. Uh, rim classic six. Do you know, actually red on that blue colour looks pretty nice already. I might want to modify it just a slight bit though.
Those are some big chunky tyres on the back. That is looking amazing. Right, let's uh, move this to the paint shop where we can sort out our bodywork. That looks alright, actually. Right, let's move this to the dyno next. Oh, I'm so excited to see how much power we can get out of this. I'm predicting double because of the amount of parts. So I'm predicting at least 700 or 800 horsepower. Oh, okay, this time it came under my expectations. 667, that's not too bad though. Right, uh, let's move you, nope, move you back to the front entrance, where we will go and take you for a test drive. That Porsche is amazing. I love that Porsche. It is a classic. Always has been and always will be. Cool, right. Whoa, we lost control. Spun out. Even with the extended tyres, we spun out. Uh, restart. but that doesn't matter. Is that the turbo though? 20 seconds to get up to 180 miles an hour. Return to garage. That's a good car. Is this a fatal attraction? Come on, load. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this build. Um, I think next episode is going to be the Porsche Carrera GT, um, which will look really amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit the join button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.
having these conversations there's something about you more than just undercovers